little adversity for you guys even before the, the first football yeah. goes uh, in the air. Um, you know, you lose Bockhorst, a couple other guys. How has your team sort of responded even before you played your first game? Well, they've responded great. Everybody's going through it. Everybody has to deal with the adversity of a long season. For us, it happened early, obviously. but So that helps in some ways. It's I'm saying for the seniors, but we're working things out. The kids have responded great. It's an opportunity for the other guys to step up and play. When when things like this happen to your team, what what do you think the reverberation effect is in the in the GCL or, or really in the state? I mean, do you think people are thinking, oh my gosh, look what St. X lost? Do you think they see you kind of as a wounded animal now? I don't think they care. I think we're so everybody's so honed in and locked in on their own team. We're worried about getting better. Every single team on our schedule is worried about getting better. You know, and everybody deals with injury. So we're dealing with ours now and, and we'll be all right. We're gonna fight hard. We got a lot of great kids and kids will step up. That's why they call it a team. There's a lot of uh, websites. I'm sure you don't go on them, but USA Today says that your first week opponent is the best team in the country. Uh, well, I, I think our first week opponent looks like the best team in the country. Um, they're very talented. And I told the kids, I said, what a great opportunity for us to find out where we are real fast. And who knows, if we're able to win, I, I don't know if that makes us the best team in the country. <laughs> no, it's, uh, we're, we're, we're excited about the opportunity to play a team of this caliber. Uh, I'd obviously love to play local teams, but it doesn't work out that way. So this is a great opportunity for us to play a great opponent. You guys missed the playoffs last year, I think, for the first time since the Nixon administration. So is it more pressure this year, or is it every year pressure for Moeller? Well, you know, there's a lot of reflection, and uh, I, I think it, you know this is going to be a positive effect because our, you know, I think we had to wake up. I think we, I call it the disease of success. We got so successful, I'm not so sure we appreciated it. So we got back to work, and uh, it's a new year with new guys and uh, maybe a new commitment. We're going to find out here in a little bit. You talked about reflection. I'm sure you reflected on the quarterback position last year. I think you had your third string quarterback playing week two of the season. So is just keeping the quarterback healthy is that all it takes well you know and that would help you know definitely injuries were a factor but yeah you know health, health with the schedule we play in the region that we're in the team that's the most healthy usually comes out and that's going to be a major factor and you know there's a little bit of luck that plays into health i know you probably don't care but what do you think other people think when moeller misses the playoffs the following year do they you think people think you're a bit of a wounded animal ready to strike at all no, oh, you know, I think they love it, you know, and that's okay. I tell our kids that. Yeah, I, I think uh, people think that, you know, they're ready to play us and we're down and it's a challenge for the kids. And, uh, you know, that's a big thing. I try to get our guys to focus on who we are and not to get distracted by the outside. <clears throat> outside. First week, Lakota West, right out of the gate. I mean, those are two teams that want to be in the playoffs, want to host playoff games. And I'm sure that's what you're looking for coming off the year of reflection. You know, no doubt we scrimmaged them last year, and they were really, very, really good football team. I think it's going to be a great game. They bring back a lot of guys. We bring back a lot of guys. Like I said, the scrimmage was fantastic. So it's good for Cincinnati. I'm, we're just really happy we're playing them. I think it's going to be a great game. What are your thoughts on um, the OHSA going back to four regions in Division One? Yeah, you know. I don't understand why. I think it worked. It, it, you know, I would love to know why the real reason why we have to go back to four. It doesn't really matter. Although I do think our region's the hardest. I think that's proven. You know, Colerain and X and ourselves and Elder and the Lakotas. You know, I, I, I don't know. I guess there's a reason why they did it. I really don't, you know, it, it's, it's above me. and We're going to play who we have to play. but. I thought the reach, I thought the two regions worked out fine. Well, and it's not beyond imagination to think that St. X or Coleraine or Moeller could be two of the best four teams in the state, correct? And they had it with two regions, and then they went back. It's almost like they want to make sure that a Columbus team gets in or something to that effect. Well, you know, you, you certainly wonder. I, I just know with our region, if you make it to the semifinals, you just hope you're healthy enough to play that game. Because, you know, I know when we went to the state finals in 2013, we played Elder, X, and Cole Rain. And I'll tell you what, it was uh, it was physically exhausting. So, um, you know, I don't know what the reasons are. And I'm not going to speculate. You know, we got to play our games and 
hopefully we're good enough and stay healthy enough to get to the finals. Coach, year two, obviously the year one to year two transition is, is big. How has it gone for you and your program? It's going well. You know, we're uh, you know, at this point, you know, this year compared to last year, you know, we're in a better spot. You know, kids are used to our system and how we're doing things now. And uh, so, uh, you know, the kids have responded well since I've been there. And, uh, you, know, we're, you know, we're just looking forward to our second year and seeing how much more success we could have. And remind me, I think you guys – I got off to like a 0-4, 0-3, something like that last year. So how important is it going to be, especially in this competition with Oak Hills, to get off to a good start? It is. You know, we um, you know, every time, especially a first-year coach, you go in there and it takes a while to get that first uh, win under your belt. You know, it kind of takes a toll on the team. And uh, so, you know, we got to start strong. And uh, so, you know, we're looking forward to, uh, you know, this this showdown game with uh, Oak Hills. And, uh you know, just to kind of get our guys going and seeing kind of where we stand. I mean, these beginning games, you got to figure out, hey, where are we going to be at the end of the year? You know, what type of team we're going to be, and uh, these games will be a good test for us. When you're when you're in your first four years as a head coach, maybe in the first and second year, is it harder to find who your leaders are? Is it harder to pinpoint the guys that you can trust? You know, you're trying to learn your kids. You know, you, you know. You don't have, um, you know, usually your seniors are going to be your leaders. Right. And, uh, you know, they've been there for four years or whatever. So, you know, my senior class this year, we've had them for two years. But, you know, with our group of guys, it, uh, it hasn't been that hard. You know, we, we, we've, we've done our job of trying to get to know these guys, get to know their families as quickly as possible. And, um, you know, we've got great kids that come to Catholic. And, uh, you know, these guys are working hard. And, uh, you know, we've, we've, been able to find, we've been able to find the guys that are going to lead us. And, uh, you know, leadership. It doesn't matter what class you're in, and uh, that's what we teach our guys, and we, we've, we've seen a lot of leadership throughout all our classes. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.